Hello all, uh, so this is the MATLAB simulation that I mentioned in the previous video and in the simulation I'm going to run it and then uh, show you the results. Now a few things before I go on, I'm using MATLAB's uh, 2015B version of uh, this simulation is compatible um, with probably with the past couple of years version of MATLAB. Um, also I'm using the computer vision toolbox um, in MATLAB. So I am going to run a simulation that has a, that's going to track a blob um, in a noise-free background, but that passes through um, the white triangle and creates data dropout. Uh, so that is called a common sim3, and I'm going to run it. Now this program actually takes a little while to run, so um, whenever it's finished, um, I'm going to show you the results. Okay, and we're back. So um, in between when I started the simulation and right here, um, not a lot really happened. It mostly the computer did some processing, um, but uh, it did output a couple of things. Um, the first thing being a video um, called uh, Noiseless Blob AVI. Now, just to refresh your memory, the simulation I ran uh, shows a blob in a noise-free background that moves through a white rectangle to simulate data dropout when it appears on the other side. Now the now MATLAB actually creates this video and saves it as a .avi file which is what I'm going to pull up next. So I have this on loop, I'm playing this through Windows Media Player and it basically the it's a simple video of the blob goes from left to right passes through that white rectangle as you see and um, it simulates Data dropout. Now, going back to MATLAB, we can um, we can see what this looks like. Um, in this figure right here, uh, you should see. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It'll give you a better view. But you should see some crosshairs um, that kind of pass through uh, the white rectangle. And let me zoom in to this section here. Right. So each little crosshair you see is where the foreground detector detected the blob. And then once it got to the white rectangle, obviously if there was a data dropout, it couldn't detect anything uh, until it reached the other side here and it was able to, to plot and detect it. Uh, so visually this shows us where the foreground detector thought the blob was, but um, the results, and if you look at uh, my paper, which is uh, in the description, uh, you'll see this plot. This shows us the error uh, whenever we're trying to uh, measure where the center of the blob is. Now the plot in red is what the foreground detector measures, and then the plot in green is the is the common filter. You know, from this we can see that up to about frame 45, the common filter beats out the foreground detector. It always has a lower measurement error. Um, but then um, the, the around right here, the common filter begins to increase its error just because it's a filter it's mimicking measured data and it takes a little while for it to uh, fix itself but then once it gets to about frame 85 or so again it's back to what we expect of having an error less than uh, the measurement error uh, which shows that the common filter works. Um, now using these simulations uh, there's um, four of them that I discuss in my paper common sim uh, one through four and, and those are just different simulations that you can run um, that create different blob videos. Uh, but this is basically the gist of um, the work I did um, for this project. Again, you can see it in MATLAB. Um, so I hope that, um, that this was interesting to you. Again, there are links in, this, in the description for you to check out. Have a good day.